What's up, guys? This is Kefis. In this video, I am going to showcase some new macros that I have created for World of Warcraft using a mod called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. This mod allows you to create extremely powerful macros that can perform most if not all of your rotation with a single button. This can be extremely useful for individuals like myself who has a disability or for people who just want to be lazy. So keep in mind that these macros are created primarily for those who are playing the game at a more casual level, but feel free to use them and alter them as you see fit. If you have further questions about the mod or my macros, I recommend checking out my FAQ video, and if you'd like to learn more about how to play the class in question, you might want to check out my crash course. It can help get you started. And I will provide links to all of these things in the description below. Today we're going to check out the macro that I've created for Fury Warriors in Shadowlands. This was by far one of my favorite macros to make because Fury Warriors are incredibly straightforward uh, classes to play. So yeah, I mean, it's, it was pretty easy to make this one. Now, we are currently in the pre-patch still. We're about a week or two away from Shadowlands at the time of recording this, this video, uh, but... This macro should not change at all uh, when as you level up to level 60 because nothing really is going to be changing. If you look here, we're looking at what abilities Fury will gain and it's just some in in improvements to two abilities. Recklessness will last longer, Execute deals more damage, doesn't add any new abilities at all. So the macros are going to continue to work uh, as they would otherwise. So uh, as you level up through Shadowlands and then at max level, this macro will work. Uh, Warriors as a whole, they gain Challenging Roar. Rallying Cry gets a benefit. You're not going to be using those in the macro anyways. So yeah, uh, the macro is going to work just fine. We're going to type in slash GS to open up Gnome Sequencer. We're going to go scroll down a bit to Fury. Kef Fury is the macro that you're going to be using. We're going to type, we're going to open up the uh, talent tree a little bit here. Get my <laughs> console port out of the way like I always have to do. <laughs> okay. Um, and so we're going to right click on Kef Fury so that we can take a look at it. Uh, and yeah, here we go. Okay, so. Um, the first thing the macro is going to try to do is it's going to try to use Rampage. Now, this is a priority list macro, which means that it tries to use the top line first and then it moves on down to the lines below that. So Rampage is going to be used as soon as you have enough rage for it. For the most part, that's how it should work. It should try its best to prevent you from overcapping rage. I'm not going to say that it's a guarantee. The macros aren't perfect, but for the most part, it's going to try its best to do so. The next line is uh, if you take the Siege Breaker talent, which is this one right here, the macro is going to be using that on cooldown. Deals a lot of damage, has a 30 second cooldown, and it generates some rage. So it's a pretty straightforward ability, just adds another ability to your rotation. The macro is going to be using it uh, whenever, it, whenever it can, whenever it's on cooldown, if you choose it as a talent. Otherwise, it will not use it at all. It's going to ignore the line. So next up is Execute. Obviously, this ability will only work whenever your target is below you know, a certain percentage of health. Um, of course, if you take Sudden Death, Execute can be used uh, anytime when it procs, so obviously the macro is just going to try to use it. Whenever Execute is usable, the macro is going to be using it, okay? Next up, Bloodthirst It's going to use that on cooldown, followed by Onslaught. This is a another talent ability. If you choose Onslaught as a talent, the macro is going to be using it on cooldown. Deal damage, generate some extra rage. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Kind of the, the theme here with, with Fury Warriors. It's very straightforward, uh, pretty easy to play. So Raging Blow next. It's going to use that whenever it's uh, whenever it's available, and it'll keep it on cooldown. Dragon, Roar, and Blade Storm. So this is in the same line. You can only use one of these at a time. Of course, you could also go with uh, Neat Cleaver, which means you wouldn't be using either one of these. But either way, if you pick Dragon Roar, the macro is going to use that on cooldown. If you pick Blade Storm, the macro is going to use that one on cooldown. I like Blade Storm because I like to be a giant hogging warrior with two giant weapons spinning around like a crazy man, like a barbarian <laughs> in uh, in Diablo. So I, I like I like Blade Storm for that reason. And then of course, Whirlwind is. Essentially, your filler ability, when everything else is on cooldown, the macro is going to use Whirlwind. Now, I did throw in Shattering Throw uh, in the macro, no pun intended. Now, there, uh, real quick, before I get into Shattering Throw, uh, there's really nothing else to go over here, honest to God. Like, there's nothing, like, everything else is really straightforward. Um, 
impending victory uh, it replaces victory rush we'll get into the victory rush but if you do pick impending victory then the macro is going to use that as it would victory rush we'll get into that in a little bit though okay and then storm bolt i thought about putting that one in because it does technically deal damage but it's more a you know it's, it's more a crowd control ability it's a stun so i figured it's best to be using storm bolt on a separate button uh, managing that one for whenever you need to stun so just keep that in mind as well okay but everything else is i mean it's a passive it's not going to change up how the macro works there's nothing to go over there so i want to get rid of the talents uh, and let's get back to shattering throw so i'm going to open up my spell book here shattering throw get out of my way here uh console port uh bringing up the tool tips here sorry i gotta find it shattering throw there it is. Nope, that's not it. There it is. Sorry, blind guy at the wheel here. You gotta excuse me. Okay. Shattering throw. This ability has a three minute cooldown. Um, I guess it's it's kind of a situational ability, sort of, but it also deals damage. So it deals damage, and if the enemy has an absorb shield, it will uh, deal a lot more damage to break that absorb shield. So I thought it was just best to put it in the macro. I don't know. It's a, it's kind of a new ability uh, that all warriors get. I've kind of put it in all the macros, but I did put it at the bottom so that way it's like a last like it, when nothing else is available. I suppose I could put it above whirlwind, but I wasn't. I'm, I'm a little tentative about it. You guys, you know, of course, I always say this. Give me feedback in the comments below. If you don't want the macro to use Shattering Throw, you can just delete the line from the macro and then use Shattering Throw separately. I suppose it's kind of like a situational thing, but it does deal damage. It has a really long cooldown. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I mean, I like the ability, but I'm just confused if, if it belongs in the macro or not. So it's obviously not a part of your core rotation, uh, but it does have a long cooldown. You can use it. It deals damage, so I throw it in the macro. So, so that's kind of the idea there. Okay, so now we get into the uh, cooldowns, right? The long-term cooldowns, which, you know, Fury has one. Recklessness. Recklessness is awesome. You, you get bigger, you, you get red, and you deal damage. It's great. So, Recklessness is off the global cooldown. It's just going to use it whenever it's available. So, you're going to be using Recklessness all the time. Um, pretty straightforward there. So, you know, nothing really to worry about. But, I've also put Victory Rush in Key Release. Now, the idea here is that the macro will prioritize all of these abilities and then use your key release abilities. Now, Recklessness will be used all the time because it's off the global cooldown. Um, Victory Rush will be used whenever you can use it. Essentially, it should work. It should be used, you know, whenever Victory Rush is activated. I've tested it a little bit. It does seem to work for the most part. I, I, I can't comment too much on the consistency of it because of how, how Victory Rush actually works. This would also apply to impending victory as well i can't really comment on the consistency but i have put it in here and it does in my experience seem to work out for the most part of course it's not going to be something that you use all the time because it only activates whenever you kill an enemy so this is mostly for leveling for questing out in the world you know little things like that get some extra healing in there but it should work whenever it's available again as always you guys that's that's pretty much everything you need to know about this macro really straightforward it's going to try to keep you from rage capping uh over capping rage by using rampage as soon as possible and then it's going to keep all of your other abilities on cooldown and when they're all on cooldown it's going to use whirlwind and uh, you know maybe shattering throw as well uh overall you guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below of course last thing just remember you're going to be using charge on the separate button also heroic leap those kinds of abilities but otherwise that's pretty much everything you know uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and i will see you guys on the next one and that's basically everything you need to know about these macros and how they work remember these macros work best when they are spammed so either press the button as fast as you can, or use a rapid fire button, which is fair game as long as you're the one pressing the button. As powerful as these macros are, they are far from perfect. So if you want to play the game at a high level and get the most out of your class, I highly recommend that you play the game without these macros. But if you'd like to get started with Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, you can do so by downloading and installing the mod. A link can be found in the description below. Along with it, you will find pay spin links for any macros featured in this video. If you'd like to use them, simply click the link and you'll be taken to a raw pay spin of the macro. Select the entire macro, copy, log in to the appropriate class, type slash GS to open the GNOME sequencer screen, click on import, paste the macro into the available space, Make sure that automatically create macro icon is checked and click import. You can now drag the icon to your action bar and the macro is ready to be used. If you followed all the steps correctly, the macro should be working fine. If something isn't working, start over and make sure that you follow all the steps correctly. 
If you are having further issues, I recommend that you check out the mod page or contact the mod's author for more information. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook, and if you'd like, you can support my work on Patreon. Links to all that stuff can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.